Welcome! Today we're going to learn how to compare fractions using fraction bars. Before we begin, let's review some important vocabulary. A fraction is a number that names a part of a whole or a part of a group. Fraction bars are the pieces people use to represent different fractional amounts. In this video, we will use fraction bars to represent wholes, halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. Compare means to describe whether numbers are greater than, less than, or equal to one another. Let's use fraction bars to solve this story problem. Aubrey and Ella are eating sandwiches. Aubrey cut her sandwich into halves. Ella cut her sandwich into fourths. Aubrey ate one half of her sandwich and Ella ate two fourths of her sandwich. Who ate the greater amount? In the story, it says that Aubrey cut her sandwich into halves. So we will use the half pieces to represent her sandwich. And Ella cut her sandwich into fourths, so we will use the fourths to represent her sandwich. In the story problem, it says that Aubrey ate one half of her sandwich. To represent this, I will take away one half fraction bar. It then says that Ella ate two fourths of hers, so I will then take away two fourths fraction bars to represent this. When we compare these fraction bars, we can see that they are exactly the same size. That means that both girls ate the same amount of their sandwiches. One half is equal or equivalent to two fourths. Now get ready to pause and try this one on your own. Remember to first get out or make your fraction bars, then use the pieces to make your fractions, Next, line them up as best you can. And finally, make the statement true using greater than, less than, or equal to. Hopefully your work looked something like this. After building the fractions, you can see that the 2 thirds pieces are longer than the 3 sixths pieces. This means that 2 thirds is greater than 3 sixths. In this video, you learned how to compare fractions using fraction bars. Thanks for watching.